Hi friends, welcome to the S3 Cloud Hub channel. In this video we are going to see, software architecture and types of software architecture. Without any further ado, let's start the session. The software architecture consists of one tire, two tiers, three tiles and n tire architectures. A tire may also be referred to as a ply. Three layers are involved in the application. Namely, the presentation layer, the business layer and the data layer. Let's take a closer look at each layer. First, the presentation layer. The presentation layer is also known as the client layer, the top layer of the application. This is the layer we see when we use the software. We can access web pages using this layer. The main function of this layer is communication with the application layer. This layer passes information entered by the user in the form of keyboard actions, mouse clicks to the application layer. For example, the Gmail login page, where the end user can see text fields and buttons to enter a user ID, password, and click login. Simply put, it's an app view. Next, the application layer. The application layer is also known as the business logic layer which is also known as the logic layer according to the example of the Gmail login page. Once the user clicks the login button, the application layer interacts with the database layer and sends the required information to the presentation layer. Controls application functionality by performing detailed processing. This layer acts as an intermediary between the presentation layer and the database layer. The complete business logic will be written in this layer. Simply put, it is about performing operations with an application. Now the data layer. Data is stored in the data layer. The application layer communicates with the database layer to retrieve data. It contains methods that connect the database and perform the desired action. Example of insert, update, delete, etc. Simply put, it's about sharing and getting data. Types of software architecture. Single tier architecture. Single layer application also known as standalone application. The single tire architecture has all layers such as presentation, business and data access layers in a single software package. Applications that can handle all three types such as MP3 player, MS Office or come under another application. The data is stored on the local system or on a shared disk. Two-tier architecture. Educational application of two-tier architecture. Also known as a client-server application. The two-tier architecture is divided into two parts. One of them is the client application and database. The client system processes the presentation and application layers, and the server system processes the database layers. It is also known as client-server application. Communication takes place between the client and the server. The client system sends a request to the server system and the server system processes the request and sends the data back to the client system. Three-layer architecture. A three-tier application, also known as a web application. The three-tier architecture is divided into three parts. Presentation layer, application layer, database layer. The client system handles the presentation layer. The application server handles the application layer, and the server system handles the database layer. The next layer is N-tier application. N-tier application also known as distributed application. It is like pretend architecture, but the number of application servers is increased and represented in individual types to distribute the business logic to be distributed. So, guys that's it for this video. I hope you liked it. I will see you in the next lecture if you have any question or any doubt feel free to ask in the comment section below. I will answer you as soon as I can. Thank you for watching bye.